What is up, Packer fans? Back again. So, Romeo Dobbs quickly has become a lot of Packers fans' favorite player. Um, number 87, fourth round pick out of Nevada. I think he was the 132nd overall selection. He was ranked like 20th out of receivers coming into the draft, and now his stats put him about fourth among rookie receivers. But I wanted to look at the history, see where Dobbs needed to get to to break some of these Packers all-time rookie records. And what I found was pretty amazing, actually. Billy Houghton, back in 1952, had 53 catches, 1,231 yards, and 13 touchdowns as a rookie for the Packers. Now, it was a way different time, but they had much less games. That 1,200 yards is really amazing, and that 13 touchdowns is a lot for even today's standards. Quite a season for Billy Houghton back as a rookie. Um, that was basically his best season, but he really was a productive receiver for the Packers. He did have a, uh, a record-setting game in 1956 where he had 257 yards, which is still the single-game uh, receiving record for the Packers, which is pretty exciting. Um, that's a lot of yards. In 56, I mean, you think back then, you think they just ran the ball all the time. But they didn't. They threw the ball, obviously. But Billy Houghton's rookie receiving record in 1952 was 200 yards in a game. That is incredible. Honestly, it really is. But he also set a rookie record of eight receptions in a game in 1952. Um, he, it's just he kept he kept breaking these records as a rookie. I mean, obviously before the 50s, I don't think they threw. You know, back in the old old days it was all just running the ball it was probably the first years where they really started throwing the football and he was just a product of all that so then two years later they drafted a guy named Max McGee he was a 13 year veteran for the Packers you know this the, the uh, Super Bowl stud I think he was the Super Bowl MVP actually I think Bart Starr was both of them actually but you know Max McGee did had that big play against the Chiefs in the Super Bowl where he caught it like this but Still, he had an incredible rookie year for a guy that was drafted like in the fifth round, I think. Um, in 1954, he had 104 yards on nine catches and a touchdown. Uh, that was four more catches than McGee had in any other game that season. But that nine catches is a, rec a rookie record that still stands for the Packers. So Billy Houghton has the 200-yard receiving record in a game. And Max McGee has the nine catches in a game record. So both of those records, you know, are still on the table for Romeo Dobbs. Obviously, nine catches, you know, he could get up to there. He had eight, so he was close. And, you know, to be to get to 10, to break the record, it would be really amazing. I think that that 200-yard mark is going to be really tough just based on the fact that Rodgers is really spreading the ball around a lot. And these guys, you know... Lazard had like 116 yards last week, but for the most part, Dobbs is most out. The most output he's done this season is 73 yards, and that was two weeks ago. So there is a lot of yards and touchdowns the game before he starts really making any of these records. But um, Billy Howen's record of 1,231 yards, 13 touchdowns as a rookie still stands, and you know since 1952. Um, Max McGee's record of nine receptions in a season or in a game stands still at nine. So, and that was 1954. So these are records that have been in the Packers, you know, history books for decades, literally decades. And Sterling Sharp finally, in 1988, as a rookie out of South Carolina, came in and broke that single season um, receptions record that Max McGee held with 55 I think the record before that was like 38 McGee had broken um Houghton's rookie record and now Sterling Sharp had 55 catches that season in 1988 but he only had 791 yards in one touchdown not really game breaking and you know didn't set a lot of other records aside from the receptions record but I think they had more games then as well and obviously with um, how they, the Packers threw the ball back then. I think it was Don Mikowski. So um, they were starting to figure out some things in Green Bay then after just basically two decades of being horrible. So, But I thought, you know, Dobbs could get close to that 55 catch mark. I mean, that's something that he could break 
and I wanted to look and see what he needed to do to get there. But other records, yards in the season, the one in 1952, the 1,200, 13 touchdowns, those ones are going to be tough for Dobbs to get to unless he goes on a crazy run. But the nine catches in a game, like I said, he can get that one. 200 yards in a game, I don't think he's going to get that one. But for, for Dobbs to break the 1,231 yards receiving, he needs to have an average of about 80 yards per game for the next 13 games. So that's actually not completely a ridiculous um, goal for him to reach. He could easily have that. He'd have to step up a little bit more, be more of a consistent target. Last week he had under 50 yards, so he would really have to start stepping it up a little bit. But I think if he starts having some 100-yard games, you know, you can really start knocking into that and really starting to limit um, how many yards you actually need to get in the next game. So we will see, but that is something that he might be able to get to. The touchdowns one as well, that's the 13. He's got two in, you know, four games. So he'd have to really go on a run where he has basically a touchdown in 11 out of the 13 games remaining. And then he could potentially tie the record and then maybe beat the record if he could get another one in 12 out of 13. But, you know, that's asking a lot. Maybe he'll have a multi-touchdown game, but there's going to be games where he doesn't have touchdowns too. So I don't think he's going to get to 13 uh, touchdowns in the season. But you never know. The 200 in a game, that's also unlikely. That's just amazing for Billy Howden back in 1952 to have 200 yards in a game and then set the single season record with 257, which still stands for the Packers. Who knows? Somebody might beat it, but nobody has since 1952. Max McGee came in, got those nine catches in a game, and then Sterling came and broke the uh, season catches mark with 50 to 5. And then, you know, like the yards, like I said, Billy Hound has the yards and the touchdowns. Max McGee just has that the uh, catches in a game one. So he's holding on to that one. But that's one that I think Dobbs can get to. Um, nine in a game, he had eight. He should be able to get nine or ten, at least tie the record, if not set the record. That would be really exciting for him. And then he really has a chance to break Sterling Sharp's single season receptions record of 55. That's the one that he really has a shot to break. With his 19 grabs already in four games, over the next 13 games, he only has to average three catches a game, which I think is very, very doable for the rookie. He's you know averaging about four catches a game at this point. So if he just kind of continues on what he's been doing, I think it's even a little higher than four with that seven catch performance. But you know, there's a lot of room for improvement for him as well still, but I think that is a record that we are going to watch closely. 55 catches in a season, he would need 56, so I added that into it, obviously, but that was three catches per game, and that is something that's really doable. Even going into the colder months in December and January, well, November, December, and January, Rodgers still throws the ball, Packers often still throws the ball, and a guy who really catches with his hands can be really, really effective when it's cold out, going out there and snagging the ball, so... Super exciting to watch. I know, you know, Christian Watson had a lot of the hype coming in as the second round pick, 34th overall, but his stats just aren't in line with this. Maybe if he would have caught that 75 yarder week one, they'd have a lot more trust in him and he'd have a lot more um, production. But Dobbs is the guy that stepped up and he is the one that actually has the chance to break some of these rookie records. Would be really exciting to see. Like I said, nine catches in a game. He can beat that one, needs 10. Um, and the 56 catches in the season, he could do that one too. 13 touchdowns seems out of the realm of possibility, and 1,231 yards seems like the out of the realm of possibility. That would be 80 yards per game, and I just don't think he's there. He's got about 73 as his high, and he wasn't, you know, so now to go out and average more than your career high for the rest of the season, I doubt that will happen, but still, I think he's going to have a productive year. I think he's on pace for about 800 and 900 yards. But if he starts getting some more uh, targets, he seems to make the catches most of the time. And he's really been efficient on a lot of the plays, scoring touchdowns too. Two touchdowns in four games, pretty good for the rookie. I think he's on pace for about eight. So if he had about 900 yards, eight touchdowns, that'd be a good rookie season. Obviously better than Sterling Sharps. But 
where he can really break those records is that the catches in the game and the catches in the season. So something to watch for. I'm excited to watch for that. I really think he'll get that catches in the season. The catches in the game might not be something he gets to just because, like I said, Rodgers does throw the ball around so much. He does spread it around so much. But I think 56 catches in the, this season is a doable goal for Romeo Dobbs. I'm super excited to watch it. Hopefully he has a, another breakout game this weekend against the Giants in London. But Go Packers. Go Romeo Dobbs. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video and like other videos and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Go Packers. See you later.